So welcome to Power Yoga. Um, that's if you have a block, grab a block. Not necessary, but great um, addition to your practice if you have one. We're going to start in child's pose today. Let's take our knees mat width apart and sit back on our heels. Take a deep inhale and then forehead comes down to the mat. Stretch arms out overhead, forehead. Just connecting with the ground here. Notice anything in your hips or legs or back, shoulders. Just do a scan of your body. Just a check in, just observing. Being curious about any tightness or anything else going on. Always just leaving that judgment aside during not just power yoga, but any yoga class. Let's just start our intentional breath. Inhaling in through our nose and exhaling out our nose as well as we begin, but always feeling free to add an exhale out your mouth this morning as we practice as a way to release heat, um, as a way to just let that stuff that no longer serves us escape your body, bringing in that fresh new breath of air. Let's make our way up into a tabletop. So knees are directly underneath your hips, hands are flat on the mat, fingers spread wide. Moving through about three breath cycles, inhale, drop that belly, gaze up at the sky. And on the exhale, round your spine, push the mat away. Do a couple more of these, just waking up that mobility in your spine, inhaling and exhaling one more time inhale drop that belly pause here disconnecting from your breath for just a moment as you move your hips side to side maybe shoulders roll and then find cat stretch here likewise pausing and cat stretch looking for any extra mobility in shoulders maybe move your neck and chin around and come back to a neutral back. Tuck those toes, lift hips up for down dog. Feeling free to keep those knees bent, walking it out. Again, this body needs to wake up, needs to start moving. So taking any organic movements here that you feel like your body needs. Shake your head yes or no. And then bend your knees, gaze forward, step to the top of your mat. Hang out in forward fold as you grab opposite elbows. Let that upper body dangle over, over the legs. Find a slight sway. Let those hands release towards the mat and with a rounded spine, we're gonna come up to stand. Take an inhale, hands will reach high at the top. Exhale, hands down by your sides. Find a couple twists, so inhale, hands reach tall. And exhale, twist to the right, really staying firm in those feet. And inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist the opposite way. Again, inhale to center. Before you twist to the right, again, I really want that foundation to be in your feet. So that twist starts at your ankle, into your calves and knees, thighs, waist, then your torso and shoulders. So that whole body is twisting. Inhale back to center. And likewise, start with those feet firming down, ankles, legs, hips, spine, shoulders. Inhale, back to center. One more just like that on each side. Push into the mat before you twist. And back to center. 
opposite way. All right, hands float down by your sides and then begin brought to your heart as you close your eyes. Again, our intention for power yoga today is just leaving any judgment behind. Looking at our practice as a way of just being curious about our bodies and as we build strength and stability, just being proud in that moment of anything we're accomplishing. Anything that comes up that might not be successful, you might not feel like you did correctly, there's no worries about that. This is your practice, your body. Let it feel good. Let everything be a success. All right, hands come down by your sides, palms face forward. Take an inhale, hands reach up tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, bow. Bend knees, plant hands, step back to a plank. Pull out in plank here for just a moment, either up off your knees or on your knees, whichever suits you better. Maybe tuck that tailbone slightly towards your heels. Engaging that back body as well as tightening that corset around your core. And lower down to your knees. Extend that right leg straight behind us. Doing a couple knee to elbows. Just gonna bring that knee forward to our right elbow and extend it straight behind us. If you wanna do two more of these up off that knee in plank, feel free to do those knee to elbows here. Otherwise, continue with tabletop knee to elbows. If you're in plank, extend that leg back to bird dog, straight behind you. And then we're gonna swing that right leg over 90 degrees to the side of your mat. Leg is straight. So last week, you ladies, remember how we did those push-ups to stand? We're gonna kind of emulate that with a push-up here. So think of those chaturanga arms, those elbows are gonna drop towards you, straight back, do a slight yogi push up here, and then we're gonna come up to stand on that knee. So let's do that one more time. So hands on the mat, you're in tabletop. Bend elbows, kind of spring up, straighten those arms out in front of you, and rise up. Do that side stretch over to the right, and back to center. So we're gonna go over to the left now. So that left arm is gonna come down, but I really want you slow and controlled here with the most slow movement you could possibly do, a really engaging through that right hip and right oblique. You're gonna barely, barely move as you come down, feel that core support you, and then gently put that hand down on the mat. Find a stretch, lift that leg up, right leg up off the ground. And then place that foot back down. That same spring in our elbow here, we're gonna do a slight push up. Come up off the mat. Back up, overhead, hands extend. Come down into tabletop, extend that right leg straight behind you. Keep it extended. As you tuck the toes of your left foot, lift up into three-legged dog. Move to a low lunge, bring that right foot forward, plant it by your right thumb. Drag and fly, so as you open into that twist, left hand stays planted. Again, we're finding that spring in our elbow, so bend that elbow slightly as you push up, come into a twist. So you're in twisted lunge. Come into high crescent, twisting forward, squaring those shoulders off to the top of your mat. Hinge forward, arms fly out behind you. And then reach arms straight out overhead. 
We're gonna step forward to the top of our mat and find ourselves in chair. Inhale, gaze up between your hands, sink a little bit deeper into your chair, and then rise up and stand. Exhale, forward fold. Step that same left foot back, come into a low lunge, so knee to the mat. Inhale, hands reach up overhead, and then hands to heart. Take a twist as that left elbow goes to the outside of that right knee. Now pick up that left knee up off the mat. So you're in a twisted lunge. And then coming into a high crescent, elbow releases. Open up to warrior two. So that back foot is planted now, parallel with the back edge of your mat. You have this heel to arch alignment. Reverse your warrior. And as we come back forward, we're actually gonna take both hands with us. Take a deep inhale and then exhale. I have these palms that face forward. Fingers flex towards you. Let's try that again. Reverse your warrior, take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, cartwheel those hands forward. Now plant those hands onto the mat. Come back to a plank. Chaturanga push-up either on your knees or plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. All right, hang out and down dog here for a few breaths. All right, you know what we gotta do? We gotta do that over on the left side. So come down into your tabletop. Let's see how our memories are this morning. <laughs> Extend left leg straight behind you. All right, remember knee to elbow either from tabletop or plank, lifting that left knee or right knee up. Exhaling knee to elbow, extend, two more. Keep that leg lifted in bird dog, then swing it over 90 degrees. Find that yogi push up with those elbows. Spring and push up, hands reach overhead. Stretch over to the left. Come back to center and very slow, controlled movements as you slide that right hand towards the earth. And you feel that side body engage. Try to put that hand down gently. When it's down, lift that left leg up to the side. Find a little bit more length. Swoop it forward back to tabletop. That leg extends behind you. Lift me up off the mat for three-legged dog. Low lunge, left foot plants by the left thumb. Dragonfly as you plant that right hand, open up the left. Remember that springy elbow as you bend it, push up into your twist. Really engage, flatten that left foot down into the mat. And then inhale, high lunge, twist forward. Extend those arms behind you. Hinge shoulders over the knee. And then reach hands straight out overhead. Step forward into chair pose. Gaze up between your hands, sink a little lower. Inhale, rise, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Step that right foot back again. Come into a low lunge, planting that right knee on the mat. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, find that twist. 
hooking the elbow to the outside of that left knee. Pick up that back knee. <laughs> Inhale, hands reach forward and then plant on the mat. Step back to plank, lower chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Let's pedal those feet out here. And find stillness. Feel free to take child's pose if you wish, but just connecting back with our intention. Going through those vinyasas the first time, it's always a little crazy, but Bridget has up her sleeve. So again, no judgment. We're gonna go through that again on each side as it's a little bit more familiar. Things might feel a little better. Bend knees, gaze forward, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Rise, reach up to stand. And hands come down by your sides. All right, if you need a drink of water before we go on, grab a drink of water. All right, you can think about ways um, if you need that block that you can bring it to the top of your mat, have it there for a little extra support, support to bring that floor closer to you in twists if you'd like. Just always having it handy. All right, inhale, hands reach tall. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, bow. Bend knees, plant hands, step back to a plank and hold. <laughs> Cluster. Cluster's been a weird dog this morning. <laughs> All right, hang out in plank here. Take some breaths. Maybe tuck that tailbone, engage through your core. Being careful not to hold your breath here. You guys, we're gonna hold this for a few more seconds, like 15. So take some breaths, feel strong. Modifying down to your elbows or your knees as needed. You have five more seconds. And lower down into tabletop. Take a couple cat cows, inhale, drop belly, gaze up. Exhale, round spine. Inhale, drop belly, gaze up. Exhale, round spine. Let's extend right leg straight behind us. Knee to elbow, again from tabletop or plank. Three of them. Keep that leg extended and then swing it off 90 degrees to the right. Yogi push up. Be mindful, straighten those arms, really spring those elbows, building strength. Side stretch over to the right. Over that extended leg, feel that through the left. And then rotate, tick tock that body over to the left. Super controlled. The slower you move here, the more you're going to benefit. Really trying to not let that arm plop down to the ground. Nice. Lift that right leg. Extend it straight out from that hip. Find length, heel, or toe to fingertips. And then swing forward into tabletop. Extend that leg behind you. Tuck toes on the left foot. Lift, down dog. Low lunge, left hand plants, open up to your twist. Bend that elbow, spring it up, lift into your twisted crescent. 
Really extend strong through that left leg here, you guys. Keep that knee straight if you can, powering through. And come forward to high crescent. Exhale, hands hinge out behind you, shoulders come forward. Inhale, hands reach out overhead. Bend that left knee, step forward, chair pose. Gaze up between your hands. Sink lower. Keep those knees behind your toes, booties are back. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. And bow. Step your left foot back to a lunge. Lower down to that knee or option just to keep it lifted this time. Inhale, hands reach tall. Exhale, hands to your heart and then twist, hooking that elbow to the outside of your knee. Again, as you're in this twist, power through that left leg. So think about from the tip of your head, out that back leg, one strong line, belly draws in. If you're down on that left knee, try to lift it here. Take a couple more breaths, stay with this twist. Think about your core. Release that elbow, come into your high crescent. Exhale, hands down to the mat, step back to plank. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Hanging out here for about 30 seconds. So feeling free to find child's pose instead. If you're staying in down dog, bring that chest towards your knees, hinging at your hips. Heels ground down to the mat. Lengthen through your arms. Check in, keep those ears between your biceps. Couple more breaths here. Inhale forward to plank, hold. Feel that power of plank. Taking your modifications as needed. Again, we're holding this for about 30 seconds. Find your breath. Knit that core together, especially that low belly around your hips. One more deep inhale. And on the exhale, lower into tabletop. Extend left leg straight behind you. All right, knee to elbow again, either from plank or tabletop to take your modifications, your variations, three times. And then make your way into three-legged dog. Actually, come back down into tabletop. Extend that leg behind you. I almost missed these. All right, extend that leg 90 degrees out to the left. Toes are pointing forward. Elbows hinge. Push up. Spring up. And side stretch over to the left. Back to center. Slow, controlled. Exhales as you move, engaging that side body. Lift that left leg out straight from your hip. Find more length, fingertips to toes. And come back forward, three-legged dog. Now let's make our way, lifting that knee up. Low lunge. Left foot comes forward. Right hand plants, left hand opens, twist. Find some spring in that right elbow, lift up. Power into that lunge, and then really straighten that right leg. 
twisting, starting from your feet, grounding down, getting that foundation, and then adding those hips, shoulders. Inhale, hands forward, high crescent. Exhale, hinge forward, arms fly out behind you. Find spring into that right knee. Inhale, come forward into chair, arms reach straight out overhead, gaze up between your palms. Find your lowest chair here. Sink nice and deep. Inhale, hands reach tall. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, bow, bend knees, plant hands, step right foot back. Inhale, high lunge. Again, modification down to that right knee. Hands to your heart, find your twist here. Again, holding, really finding power into that right leg as you straighten and lift that back of your knee towards the sky. Belly button is knit to that spine. Finding our breath. Unhook that elbow. High crescent. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank. Chaturanga push-up. Up dog and down dog. Hang out here. All right, bend knees, gaze forward, step up between your hands. Halfway lift and bow. Inhale, rise, reach up to stand. Hands down by your sides. Close your eyes for a moment. Checking in with that intention. How did that second cycle feel? Probably a little better, a little bit more familiar. All right, we're gonna go through it one more time. We're gonna go quicker, less cues. Again, take modifications as needed down to those knees, down to your elbows, whatever your body needs today. All right, inhale, hands reach tall. Forward fold. Halfway lift, bow. Find plank and hold. One thing I want you doing here is powering through that core and breathing. Think about ways to make your spine longer. All right, finding those knees to elbows. So go to tabletop if you wish or extend and pick that leg up, knee to elbow, right side, three times. Everyone comes down into tabletop, leg extended for bird dog, take a deep inhale, plant that foot 90 degrees, bend elbows, launch up, hands overhead, side stretch, Tick tock over, left hand comes down to the ground. Slower. There we go. Extend, pick that right leg up, find length. Swoop back forward, tabletop with extended leg. Tuck toes, find three legged dog. Low lunge. Inhale, reach, oh wait, sorry. <laughs> Left hand plants, open up to your twist. My favorite part. Bend elbow, pick it up, twisted crescent. Find that power right away in that left leg and then inhale, reach forward. 
Exhale, hands swoop back, shoulders hinge forward. Hands reach up as you step forward, chair. Sink low. I want to hold this chair for a moment. Tuck that tailbone towards the earth. Gaze up between hands. Relax your shoulders. All right. Inhale, stand. Exhale, forward fold. Left leg steps back. Lunge. High crescent. Hands to heart. By neck prayer twist. Sink a little lower into your lunge. And then hands unhook, hands reach forward, deep inhale, exhale, hands to the mat, step back, plank, chaturanga push up, up dog. And down dog. Beautiful. Hang out here. Find a few breaths. Come forward to plank. Hold. Let this power your core. Really feel the strength in all over body. Think about head, shoulders, hips, heels, all being in a straight line. Get those booties down a little bit. All right, we've got that left knee to left elbow, either from tabletop or plank, three times. Do it with intention. Slow, controlled movement. Make your way to tabletop, extended leg. Left leg swoops over 90 degrees. Bend those elbows straight behind you, just like chaturanga. Push up and off, coming to stand on that knee. Left side stretch. Make your way over to putting that right hand on the ground. Slower, slower, slower. There you go. Once that hand's down, extend that leg. Come forward into tabletop with that leg lifted, still straight behind you, tuck toes, three-legged dog. Low lunge. Right hand plants open up into your twist. Gaze up at that top hand. Bend right elbow. Use that as momentum to pick it up. Inhale forward, high crescent. Exhale, hands swoop behind you, hinge at your waist. On an inhale, step forward to chair. Hands overhead, beautiful. Sink low, hold this. Release that tension from your low belly, really drawing tailbone towards the mat here. Let your shoulders ease and jaw ease. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Bow, step right foot back. Lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Hands down to your heart. Find your prayer twist. Stay stable in that front leg. Where can you power up here? Energize. Maybe through the tip of the head, spine. Unhook that elbow, hands reach tall. Exhale, hands down to the mat, step back to plank. Chatter on the push up. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. You guys did it. Those three cycles there, that's awesome. 
So find some release in your head here, circles with your neck. And when you're ready, come down into child's pose. All right, come back to those hands and knees. Let's extend that right leg straight behind us again. We're gonna set up for a pigeon stretch. So bring that knee up to your right wrist. Tuck that leg underneath you and find your pigeon stretch. This can also be figure four on your back if this bothers your knee. But pigeon stretch here, forehead down to the mat. Show you a figure four stretch as well. Where that ankle crosses across the left thigh. Coming here. So do what feels best in your body this morning. And walk back up to your hands. All right, we're gonna try to take this right hand and reach back for that left foot. So we're gonna come to our hands, lift our chest. And then bend that left foot towards you. Maybe reach that right hand back. Watch that left hamstring. It likes to Charlie horse here sometimes. But grab that foot, stretch it out option to take that foot with both hands. Um, on my this side, I can't do that. I just practice self-care. But you can take that left hand and reach back to that foot as well. All right, release that foot down. Make our way back into tabletop. You can always extend that leg behind you, move it around. Opposite side, left leg reaches, bring that knee forward, set up for pigeon stretch. And taking that figure four modification on this side, if that serves your body better. Taking a couple more breaths here. All right, bring those hands underneath your shoulders as you bring your chest forward. Lifting. This time, left. Hand reaches back for that right foot. And you can always take both hands, but see the gap underneath my legs here. I really shouldn't take both hands. <laughs> Let's grab with one hand. Gently release that foot down. Make your way back into that tabletop. Maybe extend that leg for a moment. Find some movement, blood flow. And child's pose again. Notice the difference in this child's pose than the one when we first finished our vinyasa. And maybe in this stillness and quietness, you look back at your practice and 
feel successful about it. Feel accomplished no matter what your practice looked like this morning. You were here on your mat. That's so good for you. All right, for today, I invite you to either stay in child's pose if that feels good for you to hang out for just another minute or so. Feel free to kind of use child's pose as your shavasana today. If you like the traditional shavasana and that feels the best way to finish your practice, you can also take it to your back. Sometimes those child's pose can don't feel good in our bodies, our knees, our hips. So take this opportunity to breathe and find pause at the end of this powerful practice. Wherever you are, find that slow, gentle breath. Find somewhere to ease tension from your body. Relax, make adjustments. You really feel settled. Let your body cool and calm. And as you're ready, let's just find small movements, making our way up to a seated spot on our mats. And if you stayed in child's pose and you want to extend your legs straight out in front of you for a moment, feel free to do that. Just let your legs unwind, unbind. And then you'll cross your legs, find somewhere comfortable, nice tall spine. Let's take one deep inhale. We're gonna do a nice audible exhale. Just sign everything out, releasing anything that no longer serves us. So deep breath in. Nice audible exhale. All right, return to natural breath. Nice, gentle, and on that next inhale, reach hands out and up overhead, drawing everything together. Hands down to your heart as your head bows. Yes, I just thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you have an amazing Friday and a great weekend. Namaste. All right, feel free to